the battle for Pennsylvania. So it's a must win, right? President Trump won Pennsylvania by less than a percentage point last time around. And look, you got to pull it off this time, pretty much almost for sure. So how do voters there feel about him right now and those racist tweets? Van Jones was just there today, this morning, and he found out. Show of hands, who voted for Donald Trump in 2016? Raise your hand. Two. So let me focus on you. Two. <laughs> Are you planning to vote for Donald Trump in 2020? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet whether I was going to vote for him or not. Uh, I am leaning uh, more towards him mm -hmm. than I am the other candidates right now. Uh, the economic situation for me and my business is going very well. So, that, you know, economics is a big, important issue here. Gotcha. And what about you? Yeah, I, I am. Um, all this kind of this far left talk is kind of scaring me when it comes to the border. So let's just address the elephant in the room. You're like a young black dude with tattoos and stuff. Why do you support Donald Trump? given some of his you know, racially inflammatory rhetoric. Yeah, well, I think so. Look, I mean, I was raised in a conservative family, um, and I'm in business. I'm a business consultant, um, and business is great. I don't want to lose that, you know? And I know that, you know, a lot of the, the rhetoric that comes out of the White House um, off Twitter um, is, is concerning. Um, but putting personal um, feelings aside, um, I think that we're having a great economic boom. I mean, people are risking their lives to come here. How do you size up this whole thing where, he, where, where President Trump comes out and says uh, to these women, uh, go back to your, whatever country you came from? Uh, it's a man in desperation. Hmm? He's, he's desperate. Desperate what? To, to be president, the only person he cares about is himself. He rode in on the coattails of Obama. If you think it was any other thing, you know, you believe in the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. That's the way I see it. I don't believe in the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. Almost everyone has a story of being told, go back to your country. Um, and I think that it's kind of like one of the oldest, you know, tricks in the book if you, when it comes to phraseology, um, maybe outside of the N-word, that, that comes to mind when you're talking about racist uh, language. I've had people when I moved into Pennsylvania said, oh, you're a New Yorker. Why don't you go back to New York where you belong? Well, you know, those are just human emotion remarks and people are frustrated. And they are frustrated, and he's frustrated from the very beginning. They have attacked him, his family, his wife, his kids. It, it, it's disgusting. It really is. I just go back to values. I value treating people with dignity. And if there's anything that is incongruent with those values, then I'm not for that. And so I'm not going to put profit over my values. You putting your profit over your values? That well, would be a yes. <laughs> Look, mm -hmm. I, I that think... That would be a yes. I think that this, this go back comment hit, hit a lot of us um, that support him. Um, it, it, it hit a lot of us in the gut. And I think that the president is putting a lot of us in a very precarious situation. I think the president has a base, and he has a far right wing base. And there's a lot of white nationalists, a lot of racists, um, a lot of anti Semites in that base. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to have a PR strategy that is going to rile up the base. And so I feel like, a lot of us feel like, wow, like where, where do we fit in you know, anymore? Do we, are we still welcome um, in this movement? Are, we, are people of color still welcome? So a lot of us are, are still reeling from that comment. And I will tell you, a lot of my friends um, that are black conservatives, um, a lot of them have um, jumped off the Trump train. Um, they've gone over to Kamala Harris's side. They've, they've gotten involved in her campaign and also Joe Biden's, certainly here in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Oh, that was an incredible conversation. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's saying a lot of his friends have gotten off, not just conservative, right. onto, uh, not, not just off the Trump train, but onto someone onto else's other, train. other things. But amazing that he's saying, I'm not sure if I'm welcome here and, mm -hmm. and if anyone of color is welcome, but he's still voting for him as of now. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think I understood until I got there the way this thing has landed like a bomb this, this, for those kinds of Trump voters. Trump voters should basically, he said, look, I'm a business guy. My business is going great. I don't want to change. I'm scared if we right. go- I'm an economic the, voter I'm an is economic what he's guy. Yeah. I'm an economic guy, but I'm African American. And, you know, this last round has pushed some of his fellow black conservatives away. And uh, so I think we got a lot going on here uh, in, in these swing states. I want to go back.